What's good y'all? So this video is titled, How You Act Around Your Parents Versus Your Friends. Obviously, pretty self-explanatory. When you're around your friends, you're loose, you're having a good time, you're cussing, you're saying a little bit of profanity. You, you guys know how it goes. And then when you're with your parents, you definitely change who you are. Or when you're around parents in general or adults, you act way different. So I think it's pretty possible that you guys will relate to this video, so enjoy. What's up guys, before we get into the video, wanted to make a special announcement. Noah and I have been working really hard on this clothing brand that we created called Mansion. Mansion clothing, you see you got the little logo, the little house on the thing. The drop consists of three pieces and it's going to be live on April 24th. And you'll be able to buy the pieces from April 24th till May 1st. So it'll be available for that first week and then after that, it won't be sold again. And yeah, very limited. And we can elaborate on the brand later on as more videos come out. But definitely save the date in your phone, in your calendar, April 24th. Go to mansionclothing.com. Get ready, it's gonna be great. Let's get to the video. Here we go. Drinking alcohol around parents. Okay, Robbie. So it's your 21st birthday. So we're gonna have you take your first sip of alcohol in the comfort of your own home. Are you sure? You're a big boy now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess just straight from the bottle like this. Open it up. Ew. Ew. No. Around friends. All right, bro. So the twins are coming over. So we should probably hydrate. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's pregame a little bit. A little pregame. I've been meaning to wet my beak. <laughs> I feel you. Here we go. go. Cheers. Okay. I mean, I guess. Ew. Ew, no. Ew, I don't like that. How do people do that? You don't Ew, want... no. My throat. Yeah, the aftertaste. Ugh, not good. Take this. Take this away from me. I'm never doing that ever again. Hey, down the hatch. <laughs> I think I'm allergic. Ugh. Ew. Oh, no. I... That is not good. Welcome to adulthood. This is what adults do now. Ugh, get that away from me. Oh, thank God my son doesn't have a taste for alcohol. Ugh, my throat. My throat is burning right now. Is it's hitting? Is it hitting me? Ah, oh, it's like burning my chest. Oh no, I don't feel good. I'm drunk. I think I'm drunk, Mom. You shouldn't have done that to me. What do I do? We'll put this away. Steve will do it who? More like Noah did it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm drunk. <laughs> How do people drink that? Gross, gross. Ew, ew, ew. Ah, get off. Ah, I don't like that. It's hard for me to swallow now. Uh, ew, no. Talking about doing the nasty around your parents. It's so nice to have you home for a little bit. But yeah, I know you've recently moved to LA. Have you, you know, been using protection? Are you staying protected? Yeah, mom. Um, I'm super safe. I'm super protected. I got Rob over here, you know, kind of defending me and stuff. So we're good. We're, we're, I'm good over here. Thank you, though. Okay, okay. But I mean, like, are you having... You know, S E. Are you having intercourse? Oh, 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 don't say that. Oh, God, don't, please don't not say that. I've not, I have never had that in my life. I'm not gonna do that. That's gross. That is gross. Around your friends. Next thing you know, I'm about knocked her off the counter. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I knocked them ankles loose, bro. Okay, just making sure, because I found these in your suitcase. What is, what is that? What is that? Oh, uh, well they were in your suitcase. Here. What the heck? What the heck is this? What are these? They're is called condoms. Who? What is that? You've never seen those before? I've never seen this in my entire life. Next thing you know, she started licking my ear. No way. I was like, damn girl, I didn't know you could do that. Bro, Bro she had the pigtails. And Bro, what is so I was like, yeah. <laughs> you said this was in my suitcase? You guys really don't know what those are? 50% <laughs> thinner? Maybe it's like for weight loss or something. Yeah, it's like weight loss pills or something. I Someone just put something in my bag. We need to call the cops or something. Like, people are putting stuff in my bag. Next thing you know, I feel my soul leaving my body. I was like, I swear I saw Jesus. I swear I saw Jesus. Next thing you know, she does a triple back handspring, lands straight then right on my... What does it say? Trohan. Trohan? No, Trojan, like for USC, the school. The USC, tro is this like a school merchandise of USC. Oh wait, no, this is um, it's the Michigan State Spartan. It's the same logo. You see that? Michigan. That is. Are these like hand towels or something? Ooh, it's slimy. Get this, and in the same night, I was with her sister. The same night. Then the sister says, "Wait, he brought protection, right?" I said, "Fuck, you think this is the Secret Service? Ain't no protection around here." <laughs> 
I don't know what the heck this is. What the frick? What the heck is this? Is this what they make balloon animals out of? Blow it up or something. How do you even, what is this supposed to be? I don't know, what the heck? She said, you better wrap it up. I said, what you think this is, Chipotle? Ain't chicken wrapped it. <laughs> Nothing getting wrapped <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> I don't know why it's like sticky though. Why would they send you a balloon? Yeah, mom, I don't know what these are. Discussing a breakup. Oh, yikes, this is how it is around your parents. Hey, son. Hey, mom, what's up? Quick question. Are you still talking to that one girl that you were talking to? Oh, no. We stopped talking a while ago. <gasps> oh, no, what happened? Oh, <laughs> nothing really. We just went our separate ways. Hey, this is how it be around your friends. <laughs> Bro, why don't you just forget about her? That bitch ruined my life, okay? <laughs> oh, she already got a new man. Ooh. Bro, I swear, I knew she was. Oh, I'm plotting. Oh, God, I'm plotting. A little sleazy from the start. I knew you shouldn't have messed with her. Oh, I should have known. I should have saw the signs. I should have known after she didn't text me for 15 hours. She goes, I was just sleeping all day. What are you, a bear? You're not hibernating. I ignored all the red flags. She's just doing her own thing, I'm doing mine. Oh my God, but you guys were together for a while, right? I mean, yeah, she was working, so she was super busy, and I was doing my YouTube stuff. So we both didn't really have that much time for each other. You can't trust these thoughts. Oh, she belonged to the streets. She never belonged to me. Exactly, I'm glad you see that. Her new man ugly. He ugly on God. If I see him, it's on sight. It's on sight. <laughs> Females are just a distraction. Oh, when I'm gonna see him in court, she gonna have to call the feds on me. Oh God, when I'm in court, oh, I already see it now. I see it right now. We just figured. We'll just take a little break. And... Oh, okay. Well, is she, how does she feel about it? Does she feel the same way as you? She's good, yeah. It was very mutual. We're still friends. Yeah, we're cool. Your Honor, can I get five minutes alone in a locked room with this son of a bitch? No, sir, I can't. One minute. You know that I can't do that. Well, I guess I'll just have to handle this myself. Get on the Hey, bro, relax, relax. I had her first! Do you even know what her favorite color is? That's what I thought! Okay. Well, do you see it working out in the future? Like maybe you guys rekindle it? Yeah, there's definitely a high possibility of that. But I'm just respecting her space right now, so I'm just gonna focus on myself. And I'm not really pressed to be with her or to be in a relationship with anybody right now. The timing isn't there. Oh, God, I swear to God. All right now. Just okay, break bro. Chill just out. break up with her, okay? I need her back. <laughs> So yeah, right in this moment, Noah actually broke his hand when he punched the pillow because the pillow didn't absorb the punch that well and he hit the rock hard ground. So then we had to drive him to the hospital and then he got a cast and for the rest of the video, you're gonna see Noah with the cast on. But if you guys wanna see the backstory behind all that and what happened, go to the vlog channel. It's the first link at the top of the description. Check it out, Love Live Serve Vlogs. If you're not subscribed, watch it. We're doing all the behind the scenes, all the daily life stuff. Check it out if you guys wanna see that. But back to the skits. Talking about grades and school. How you say it around your parents. Hey, son. How's school going? How are your grades looking? What's up, mom? Yeah, school's going pretty great, actually. I had a test today in chemistry. I studied for it, and I felt pretty confident. Like, I knew all the answers immediately. I finished the test in, like, 10 minutes. How you say it around your friends? How in the Mick Jugger Nuggets am I going to get to the next grade if I haven't done a single assignment? I'm not going to pass. There's, it's impossible. There's no way I can pass. Bro, if I don't pass this class, I'm going to get held back again, which is going to make me a super, 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 super duper senior. And that's just going to be embarrassing because Everyone's always in the hallways, oh, why is that guy so old? And it's like, shut up, like, I didn't pass the classes, but I'm gonna fail again. Bro, how many discussion posts do we have to do? I mean, I don't even know, I didn't pay attention. Yeah! Feeling good about that. Oh, and there's a test in AP US history next week, but I'm gonna study over the weekend for that. Me and Noah actually have a little study group going on that we made with some of our classmates. Cause I, I thought she said we, there's like 40 discussion posts due by the end of the by the end of the term, and I haven't done one because I haven't logged into the thing because I don't even know the login password. And what's the and what's the teacher's name? What's her name? I forgot her name. I think it was uh, Miss. I don't know. Cause I was gonna, e I swear to God, I was gonna email her, but I don't know her name. So okay, well we can make a big app. What's it do? What does the final big essay do? The 25 page one. I think the deadline's Monday. I think it's due Monday. Of course. Yep. Haven't done one thing on it. Again, I feel pretty confident with the material, so I'm pretty sure I'll probably get at least a B on that test. And I'm actually almost done with this last discussion post for the term in English. Oh, we had to read five books. Just finished the last chapter of the last book. So, man, I don't need school. What do I need school for, man? It's, man, it's stupid anyway, man. I can. We don't need school. We do not need school. Bro, we'll drop out. We can become YouTubers. We can become famous YouTubers and make money, and then we'll sell merch. We'll sell like a really cool clothing brand, like Mansion or something. Eh, I don't know. I'm an entrepreneur. We can 
could be entrepreneurs. I could be a drop shipper. Let's do drop shipping. Let's do day stocks. Stock traders. Eh, that's not kind of complicated. Finishing up this, I'll probably finish English with an A, A plus most likely. Wow. Okay. So are you thinking you're gonna get straight A's by the end of this quarter? Yeah, it's looking it's looking like that right now. It's going on headline and like all the grades look good. I might get a B in chemistry if she does the curve on the last test because everyone failed the last test. So it's like she knew she did something wrong, so like she had to change it. But everything's looking good. I'll probably get straight A's. Let's move, pack our bags, and head to Oregon. Because what the hell's happening in Oregon? Nothing. That's why we'll just move there and start and live in a tent. That could work. That could work. We'll be good. Who needs school? Mark Zuckerberg dropped out. We're like the modern day Mark Zuckerbergs. Or or something better. I'll make an OnlyFans. I'll make an OnlyFans. I'll start selling dick pics. Maybe a B in chemistry, but no, everything's looking great. I'm feeling good. Wow, seems like you're doing a lot of hard work. Well, okay, I won't bother you. I'll let you get back to it. Thank you. Talking about parties. Who took this for the birds? Hey Noah, um, you were out a little bit later than what you told me. What's up? Yeah, uh, sorry about that. The function kind of ran a little bit over time. We were watching a movie and it kind of went later than I expected. Yeah, I really didn't want to be out that late, but Jack's mom cooked for us, so I didn't want to be rude and just leave, so. All right, friends. Bro, I'm telling you, when Mansion drops on April 24th. Bro, guys, yo, yo, y'all will not believe what happened to me last night. What, what? what happened? So last night, when I pulled up to the function, as soon as I walked into the door, Sarah, you know Sarah? Yeah. The crazy, the crazy yeah, one, right? Oh my god, and she was teed up she was there. with the braids. First thing she says to me is, hey, let me rock your boat. <laughs> okay. I said, what? Okay. I ain't even do nothing yet. So we went to the back, we started taking shots. I'm talking one, two, eight, ten. I lost count after 67 or something. Well, uh, how was the party? Oh, I wouldn't even call it a party. It was really more of just like four or five of us. It was Jack, Jimmy, Brandon, Corey was there, and then Corey's little brother. Honestly, we were just chilling. Their parents made us like some cool barbecue food. They just bought this new grill. And then yeah, we all just cooked like some marshmallows and had like a good little time. And at this point, I'm wasted. And I've only been here for five minutes. And then Sarah goes to me, could you be my boyfriend for the night? I said, don't you have a boyfriend? She said, yeah, but he's not here. I said, oh, say less. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Okay, no, okay, no. Oh, okay, well. Well, what has happened? Like, what, what'd you guys do? It was super low key. We actually ended up studying together because since we're all in the same class, we're like, hey, we might as well, we're already here. So then they're all saying, jump, jump, jump. And I was like, fuck it. So I jumped off the roof and I missed the pool by like a foot. And I must've blacked out or something because I woke up with this and I was like, what the hell? Yeah, like I really wanted to get out of there early, but Jimmy was being loud and stuff. And you know, I don't really like that because I'm like really mellow. Yeah, I know you. So by this time, there's two apple pies in a microwave I'm delivering a baby on the kitchen counter, and then I get a tap on the shoulder. It's Chris Brown. Breezy? Of all people, what the heck? And I didn't want to be rude, so I stayed a little bit longer. No, yeah, it's good to be home. I'm glad that you called me because it like gave me a way to kind of head out. So then we hop in a Lambo, and Chris Brown tells me he just bought a baby orangutan. So then he hands it to me in the back seat, and it's like a baby, so it's like small and shit. So I'm holding this baby orangutan with me, playing patty cake in the back, and I look, and there's two strippers next to me. And I wish I would have came back earlier, but now that I'm here, I'm actually gonna go back and study because I wanted to get like a head start and they said they might have another function again next week they might have like another barbecue or something so i might pop out oh awesome well uh i'm glad you had fun yeah definitely go next week if you want to because it's good that you guys were studying and everything cool and so now i'm in the kitchen taking shots with jamie fox and tom brady they like the patriots what? Like them like that. and then they tell me that they're fans of the channel they watch them can you believe that they watch the video and then one of the last things i remember before i blacked out I was doing wheelies with Meek Mill on the highway. I had a four-wheeler, he had his dirt bike, and that was pretty much the last thing I remember. What the? That, that's crazy. What the heck? Getting asked about someone who's the opposite gender. Around your parents. Hey Ryan, so who was that girl you were talking to today when I picked you up from school? Oh, oh yeah, that girl. Shoot, I don't even know her name. She's like this random girl, she's in one of my classes. Around your friends. Yo, bro, who was that girl you were talking to after school today? The blonde joint? Yeah. Bro, did you see when she got up and walked away? Oh, I, I seen. That's why I'm asking you, like, what are you doing about that? Bro, she got the cake. Dude, I know. And you know I like my vanilla cake. And she was asking me for the study guide for, like, next week's class. So I was just, like, kind of telling her about it. That was really it. Oh, I think she was pretty cute for you. You should try to talk to her or something. Eh, nah. She been texting me all day talking about some 
I could see a future with you. Talking about some, I really wanted to kiss you. You look cute. She's been gassing me up all day. Have you seen her commenting on all my stuff? Like, she's trying to be funny. Bruh. We on FaceTime every night. She being all cute for no reason. She's not really, not really my style or flavor, really. Nah, she's nice, but she, like, works at Chick-fil-A, I think. I've seen her a few times, but nah. She's kind of weird, though. She's a little bit weird. I don't know. I'm probably going to date her. Dude, you're in there. I swear to God. You are in there, dude. Because I was trying for a while. It was a few months I was trying, but hey, light skin temptation. She fell for it, so. What are you gonna do?